What's going on, everybody? This is P Valley Season 2, Episode 3. I know I should have been reviewing it, so I'm just reviewing it right now. I know, as you can hear, you can hear noise out there. My sister and her son is here, including my other sister, two kids, is here, so I guess they're gonna be here for a minute until she gotta head, take my sister back home, and then she gotta go home. She don't have gas yet, so well, she needs some money so she can get, so she can, um, get home because she's staying away for well so anyway nothing much to talk about p valley but it was a good episode so i don't remember what i'm trying to remember what again see i'm just gonna talk about what stood out to me now Keyshawn, little mother because Keyshawn kissed little mother right in front of all the girls because all the girls love him because he blew up. Dude was doing his thing. You could tell Uncle Clifford's dad had feelings for little mother. So that would be awesome. We know they're going to talk again. This time they're going to talk face to face. Because little mother know he was here last week. So now Uncle Clifford, you could tell he he do forgive him. He forgive him. Set my elbow. I guess it's good. So anyway. So anyway, um, I was thinking about something. I do want to talk about my shady and the, the coach and her, his wife. We got to see his lovely wife. She's so lovely, ain't she? She is so attractive woman. And I was so right about threesome. I thought I was wrong. Pre uh, pretty much, apparently they get a threesome together and her phone kept going off twice. First time she didn't answer the phone, then the second time she answered, we find that Terika, aka Mercedes' daughter, was pulled over by underage driving. Now, I believe she's 15 years old, where how old she is. And we see, she, she see her going to Splashwater on the foster mother that took Terika in. Because you remember, Mercedes couldn't raise her because she was only 15 when she had her. And you know, her baby daddy passed away. And the we just found out that her baby daddy didn't know she was underage, which means she was a minor. And we got to see Patrice when she was talking to Terika. And he, she was just calling out by her name. And she said, you call me grandmother. But you didn't even go see her. You didn't visit her. And I know Michelle had a lot going on. Everybody had dark secret. Now, we know what Arlo Knight, a.k.a. Haley, been through last season about her dog pad. Remember, she lost her daughter because she couldn't find her pretty much in the hurricane. Because, you know, she was the one survivor last season. Speaking of which, she did say she was going to put everything together. And she said everybody get replaced with Uncle Curtis and no one can replace with Sadie. Honestly, everybody get replaced. The show must go on. Bessie, that's what she's saying. What the hell is that? Hope is nothing, but anyway, so pretty much they had a good time. We got this chick, I forgot her name with the paint head. She wanted to be a DJ. Big L's up there doing his thing. And then you got, I think, I don't know that it was Gissy's ex boyfriend or her or the guy that she was with the mother. So I'm guessing that he was trying to book. Remember, he told Big, you know, yeah, Big L. Trying to call Gizzy, and I guess Gizzy wasn't responding to his calls. Because you remember she talked to Mississippi, I think it was on the first episode. We got to see Gizzy. I don't know if she's coming back for good, because we know some of the girls had to leave because all this mess went down. And speaking of mess, Little Mother Cool going against, um, no, I forgot, Fuego. I don't know if that's his name or not. They were going at it, and the way he was talking to that woman, call her a B. I said, no wonder why you always get your ass whipped because you don't know how to respect chicks. You don't know how to respect women, and that's why you got your ass whipped again. You lost last season, now this season you even embarrass yourself. I know he won't go after little mother. He still won't revenge because of what he did to him. Dude, just take the L. You lost. You already lost against Big. What is it? What is his name? Was it Big T? Yeah. I don't know if I could trust him yet. I'm still trying to give him a chance. Because him and little mother was having the conversation. Then him and Keyshawn was having the conversation. I know I'm going all over the place. You got Gisha and her friend. They um was having the conversation in the in the um restroom. 
And we know that everybody got issues, cause Whisper gave, you know, gave her the 10 pounds and she have her back. That's what Sven's for. I think I'm gonna like those two. I think I do. They put on a good show. And we know Mercedes did too, but she didn't fall. Look where she fully healed. Cause she's not wearing the tape on her shoulder no more. It did look ghetto. But I can't judge, cause I did the same thing when I hurt myself. And I wore it on my legs and stuff. It was ghetto, I know. But Mercedes is fine. She did talk to her daughter, and her daughter still upset that she didn't even try to fight for her. And I can understand how her daughter frustrated. And I understand where Mercedes comes from as well, because she couldn't raise her. If she was a little older, she would. You know, I don't think Mercedes would be dancing if she wasn't the way she is. It's not her fault, though. Because remember, her mom was like that, too, before when she was her age. And now she wanted to turn her life around just to be a pastor or a preacher. Speaking of good cheese, she was doing her thing, giving out food. We got to see the mayor, quote unquote, want to run for mayor. And Dre said he want to run against him. I said, good luck with that, pal. You're going to need it. Because his wife even asked him when he's coming back home. And he still got things to take care of here. I don't think he want to go back. I think he want to stay in Mississippi because of Haley. We know he like Haley. And we know Haley likes him. So they haven't seen the scene together pretty much. We got um, Uncle Cliff putting, you know, dancing on the pole. I didn't know he got it in him. I'm, that was amazing. Nice one, though. They all had a good time. Everything was good. And I guess that's all I got to say. I guess we'll see what happened next week. I know somebody on YouTube going to cover it and talk about it. But that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, please turn on notification, and make sure you share this video.